Are you still with me? Yes. Okay, so what I want to do is come here and create a Lambda function, right? Real quick, Lambda function, and, and I can call it stop, stop my <clears throat> EC2 instances um, function. Okay. So I'm going to use Python. Okay. I'm going to choose a basic role for now, right? And I'm going to create the Lambda function. As simple as that. So simple, right? So I created a function for me. As you can see here, this is the ARN of that function, the Amazon resource name. Permissions that I have right now, I have um, just to roll by action, just to roll here, right here. This, this role was created for me, okay? That may not be enough, okay? I'm gonna create the function now. All right. So I'm going to delete this guy, all right? I don't need that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just import uh, Boto three, okay? That's the um, that's the SDKs for for Python, okay? So now I'm going to declare a variable. I'm gonna call it a region, and then I'm gonna put US East one, okay? That's the region. Now the instances. The instances, I want to put this here because I don't know yet what I'm going to stop, right? Now, I want to bring the instances here. So I'm going to say Boto3, that client. And then I'm going to say, I want EC2. And then the region name, the region. Okay. is going to be region. Okay. So I'm assigning this region here, right, to the variable region name. Okay. And then I'm telling that this resource that I want is EC2 instances. Right. Now I'm going to create the function, the handler. It's called the handler. Def. This is for Python, okay? Def lambda handler, right? And then I'm gonna say event context. You don't have to understand this fully, right? And then I'm gonna say um, EC2 stop instances. Remember the command in the CLI? Same thing, okay? So I can say instance instance IDs equals instances, right? That's the variable here that I have here, okay? So whatever number, whatever whatever ID I put here is gonna be assigned to this guy. And then Python or Lambda is gonna know what instances are referring to, to stop it, okay? So now I'm gonna print instances have successfully been stopped, okay? okay? They are, and then I can say plus SDR, instances. So what it does is, to, I mean, this is, this is a little complicated for you guys, but you need to understand that what I'm saying is instances have been successfully being stopped. They are, 
And then the instances is this instances here. Okay, so we're printing these instances. Now I need to I need to go to my EC2 instances console and there grab the IDs of the instances that I want to stop. Okay, so I have this one here first. Okay, so I can put it here. And the lambda function, where's the lambda function? Okay, I can put it here, right? And then I can put another one here. The second one. Okay. Okay. So we have two instances here that we want to stop. All right. They're going to be stored here. Right. And then we're going to say this stop them. Right. Now let's test this Lambda function. Let's see if it works. So you can save it and then test it. Let's see. Let's go here, my event, and let's see if it works. Okay, test. You know, we have a problem here. Remember what I told you about the role? Okay, the role is a basic role. I cannot do this operation. So I have to edit the role. I have to come here and here, go to I am. And I am, this is the role that I have, but it doesn't have, if I take a look at the policy, okay, there's nothing here that allows anything with EC2, okay? There's no permissions here for EC2 instances, right? Nothing here says EC2. I have to add a policy, okay? So I can attach a policy and I can say EC2, right? And I can come here, is it two full access? You see here, is it two full access? So I can attach the policy, right? And then attach the policy here. Now, my Lambda function has complete control on EC2, action EC2, I can do anything, okay? And this policy would be applied immediately, immediately. So I can come here and test my function again, and it works now. You see, it says EC2 have been successfully and they are these two. Now, if I come to my EC2 instance uh, console and I do this, look at this, stopping. You see, so far we did it manually, right? We tested it, right? We want to automate this. What service do you think that I can use to automate this? To, to schedule this, what what do you think? What services do you think? Let me see the answers here. No, not auto scale. The answer is CloudWatch. Okay. CloudWatch is the answer. CloudWatch is the, the service that will help me uh, automate this, this thing here, okay? So my instances are back running, back and running, okay? Now I'm gonna go to CloudWatch. Okay. <clears throat> so in CloudWatch, I'm going to create an event, okay? I'm gonna create a rule. So in the rule, I'm gonna look for the service. I'm gonna schedule here, schedule it, okay? I'm gonna schedule it. So fixed rate, no. What I want to do this is a cron expression, a cron expression, cron expression, if I go to, um, if I go to con expressions, uh, in AWS, so we can have these patterns here that we can use, right? So let me bring this here. 
and I will minimize it here. And then I'm gonna bring, let me see, where is CloudWatch here? So I'm gonna have this to the left. Hold on a moment. To the left. And this to the right. All right, good. So, <clears throat> so we have this here. Minutes can go from zero to 59, okay? And then you can use cloud uh, Y cards. The star means that it's every single minute, okay? Whenever you see a star, that means every single minute, every single day, every single hour, every single year, whatever. So we want, uh, and something that we have to understand is that this is in UTC. I think it's UTC time. UTC, let me, let me check when I do it. So the first one is the minutes, right? So let's say that we want to stop the instances what time is it? It's 4, 8, right? How long would this take us? Probably, five, sorry, five minutes probably. So I'm going to say at 4, 4, 4, 15, right? So I'm going to put here 15, okay? That's going to be the minute, 15, minute 15. Hour from 0 to 23. Now, this is going to be in military time. So 4 is going to be 16. Right? So that's going to be 16. Right? Sixteen. The day of the month is going to be what day of the month is today? Today is the 15, right? 15. Uh, the month is going to be month five. That's May. Right? If I put a start right here, it's gonna be all the time, right? Now, um, month, day. So I can say from Monday to Friday, okay? And the year, I'm gonna say every year, okay? So here I have a Chrome expression that is telling me every day from Monday to Friday at 4.15 um, on May, in May, just stop the instances every year. But we're going to have a problem here because um, this is in uh, what time is it's, I think is, let me see, I think it's UTC. So I'm going to choose a lambda, the target is a lambda function. That is the one that's going to be triggered by this rule. Okay. So I'm going to choose stop my, my lambda functions. Okay. So uh, let me see something here. Uh, this is in UTC. Um, mm -hmm. UTC. Okay. So what time is right now UTC? Let me, let me, let me take here a moment. Okay, UTC right now, UTC time. So it's 11 p.m. It's 8, 11 p.m. So we have to put A, okay? And 8 is 20, 20, right? 8 is 20, right? Are you understanding, guys? There's four hours ahead of us, UTC. So we have to put 20. Okay, for that to happen at 4.15 our time. Okay, so then I'm going to give it a name. Stop easy to instances. Okay, rule. And then we're going to create a rule. All right. That's an invalid name. Okay, and then we get a rule. All right, let me go back. Let me say day of the week. Uh, today is the, is the fifth day of the week. Okay. So we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, I think that that's okay. Okay. Um, do I, what time is it now? Uh, 13, I think I put it here, 18. Um, let me see now. Oh, not valid. Parameter schedule expression is not valid. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> what is this 15? Okay. Um, hours, hours. Uh, day of the month, okay, every day of the month, say here. Um, month, let's say every month. Okay. And let's say here every day. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Okay, still having an error. I don't know why. Let me see. Cloud watch events from the other day. Okay. Um, our expressions. Okay. Um, so give me an examples here. Uh, <clears throat> let's say zero, 10. No, 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 no. Oh, day of the week. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, 2018. That will be 418. What time is it right now? I think we still have time. Um, it's going to be. Uh, GMT um, for 18 GMT right now GMT time to see if we are correct uh, it's say 14 we're perfect okay and now I think that we're done here so it's gonna happen every day every day of the week every month every year uh, at, at 4 uh, 18 Eastern Standard Time so now we can figure this and then boom done now, right now is 4.15, so uh, we should wait three minutes for the instances to stop, okay? And then I can have another one, another rule for the instance to start tomorrow at 8 a.m. or from Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. So this way, I am automating my architecture using uh, CloudWatch. I think that's pretty useful. Um, when it comes to, you know, just being relieved of, of many, you know, headaches that, you know, doing manual, man, things manually uh, bring about. All right. So right now is easy two instances. Right here we have two. Okay. That will be stopped at 418. Okay. We just need to wait. It's... 416 now. In the meantime, guys, do you want to add something? You want to add something? Is there something you want to add? The guys that are still with me? No? No, no. That's, I'm fine. We're just waiting, right? Yeah. Uh, we we want to see. Want, we want to see magic. All right, so we still have one more minute, I guess. Uh, you know, whenever you want the time, the time to pass by fast. Huh. You still have to wait. Okay, okay. So do you have any special plans for the weekend? Study, study, study. That's the triad. <laughs> yeah, I have to catch up with all your videos and everything one by one. Okay, Amado, bye. Have a great weekend. You can watch the video later. Bye, guys. It's just one more minute and that's it. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye. Well, <laughs>
There you go. You see? Awesome. Yeah. You see the magic? Yeah. yeah. So you can, magic. you can schedule that every day. Okay. Right. By just, by just uh, uh, changing the the uh, the um, <clears throat> the rule, the role. The rule. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So you can automate uh, your infrastructure like that. All right. 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 Guys, I hope you enjoy this and, and you know, more to come uh, on Monday. All right. Okay. Thank so you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very okay, much. Bye. Take sure. care.